Hey guys, I'm Dr. Wooden, and today we're gonna to be doing an enucleation, which is a surgical removal of the eye. And this is River here. River is about nine years old. She's a sweet little rescue for some good clients of mine. And the reason that we are enucleating her eye is because she has glaucoma. So a couple of weeks ago, River's owners noticed that her left eye was really red and it looked really angry. And so they brought her in and we looked at it and did some testing and found out that the pressures in her eyes were really high. So normal in dogs is about 20, hers was 75, which is crazy high. Um, so unfortunately glaucoma can happen for a number of reasons. A lot of times we don't really know why. And in her case, we tried a lot of medications and we weren't able to get it under control. We even consulted with Dr. Huey, who's the ophthalmologist in town, and she confirmed that she had primary glaucoma and there wasn't a whole lot we could do, unfortunately, except for remove her eye for her comfort. And I realize that sounds pretty extreme to a lot of people, but glaucoma is very painful and humans that have it, they say they get a really bad headache and it's very uncomfortable for them. And this eye is also blind too, so she's not gonna be losing eyesight in that eye. And with glaucoma, the eye is usually swollen and it's sticking out some as well. And so they are more prone to getting ulcers and other injuries to that eye too. So for her comfort level, the owners decided that we were gonna go ahead and take the eye out. And so Sweet River here has had some very good pain medicine. I don't know if you can tell, it's a little subtle today, but her eye is a little bit swollen on this side and it is a little bit red. Um, and so she's feeling pretty good right now because she's had some pain medication and we're gonna go into surgery here in a little bit and get this eye out. Yeah. Once the patient is under anesthesia, we use a lidocaine bupivacaine block for extra pain control. We then sterilely prep the area and place some surgical drapes. We then sew the eyelids closed and make an incision around the eyelids to make sure that we're getting all the glandular tissue associated with the eye. We then dissect down, get in all the extra ocular muscles and the subcutaneous tissue around the eye. Once we have a clear path to the back of the eye, we then transect the optic nerve and vessels behind the eye. If hemostasis is adequate, we then close the eyes with some sutures and let the patient recover appropriately. All right, guys, so she did really well under anesthesia. So we are finished up here. You can see there's some little sutures here. There's just a tiny little bit of blood with the nucleation, so that's very normal. There can be some oozing up to a couple hours post-surgery. And so that's why we have an ice pack here that we're kind of keeping some pressure on the eye just to kind of help with that. Um, the sutures, you know, look a little bit scary at first. I always warn owners that, you know, they might look a little bit like Frankenstein when they first come out. But over time, you know, once things heal and the hair grows back, a lot of times it's really cosmetic. And hopefully she's going to feel a whole lot better too because her eye has been causing her pain for the last couple weeks. So recovery is going to be about 10 days or so. She is going to have to wear a comb and then we'll get her back after that and take her sutures out. 